I'm Francine Bardol. I'm a crime scene technician for West Jordan City Police Department. I got into it because I've worked with uh, criminals for several years and I wanted to understand what victims went through. Solving a crime for me means we get the perpetrators off the streets, bringing closure to families and to victims of crime. The MBEC helps solving crime in several ways. One would be touch DNA. Oftentimes we'll have victims that are grabbed or touched and we can't see the touch DNA and by using the MVAC we are able to extract that touch DNA so that hopefully we'll get the profile of the perpetrator or the suspect. My name is Dan Roberts. I'm a police officer. Actually I'm a sergeant for the West Jordan Police Department. I've been an officer here for 17 years. There's nothing else quite like law enforcement. We help people and we help people through the worst parts of their lives. And being able to help people in those situations is a very gratifying experience. My career as a law enforcement officer, I've seen a number of different uh, technological advances that have adjusted or changed the way we collect evidence. DNA has been such a huge advance for us in being able to solve crimes. And that's what's so nice about the MVAC system. The MVAC system is as important an advancement to DNA as DNA is to the forensic fields itself. Traditional ways of gathering DNA evidence just simply don't stand up, not even a hundredth time of what the MVAC can do. And we're seeing that by being able to find DNA where we never, never would have thought we could have found DNA before. It's so much more productive if a department can process the evidence themselves rather than send it to a backlog at the lab where it could be a year or so later. I think the MVAC will help solve cases that have been hard to solve, difficult for an agency to try to uh, extract or get any uh, evidence off of something. The MVAC is, is, a, is a great technology that's a little ahead of its time, actually. I think the extraction methods uh, for DNA will eventually catch up, and uh, I don't think there will be a laboratory or an agency that will not want the MVAC. Being a detective, especially when you're working major crimes, and you're dealing with somebody who's been murdered, maybe somebody who's been sexually assaulted, you're left with almost no evidence. The MVAC system allows us to find evidence, DNA evidence specifically, where we've never been able to get it before. There are a few things that in life are so, so satisfying, deeply gratifying, is being able to get the evidence that you need to give some sense of justice to the victim. 